All right. Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from Psalm, the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Praise the Lord. I'll read the whole chapter. In Psalms 1, it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruits in its season, whose leaves shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Nor in the sinners of the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Praise the Lord. You know, this verse truly just talks about those that follow the Lord and those that don't. The righteous, we are the righteous because we follow our Lord Jesus Christ. And the ungodly are those that don't. And this truly tells us that we are blessed for doing so because we put our trust and our faith in the Lord. And those that don't, they shall perish. It will not end well for them. So this is why we pray for those that don't, for the ungodly. We pray that they, they come to the Lord, that they understand that Jesus is the truth, the way, and the light, and there's no other way other than him. The ways of this world will perish along with them, but it is God who blesses all of those who follow him. In Deuteronomy 33, 29, it says, Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help and the sword of your majesty. Your enemies shall submit to you and you shall tread down their high places. You know, we are persecuted for the Lord all day long. We, we go through these battles and trials and, and tribulations and all of these things. But the Lord say will save his people. He will get us through it. He will help us. And it will be our enemies that will be falling down and submitting themselves to us. These are things that will happen. The word tells us this. So we should just be happy. And we should just continue to put our faith and our trust and our love in the Lord. We meditate. When we go through our struggles, we look to him day and night. We meditate on his word. We know that God is with us. And if God is with us, then who can be against us? In Psalms 32, verses 1 and 2, it says, Blessed, uh, blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the love does not impute iniquity. And in those and in whose spirit there is no deceit. The Lord forgives us for all the sins that we commit. He knows we are flesh. He knows that that you know we're gonna make the mistakes that we make. He already knows it. He will not punish us for those things. 
but he knows we know that we confess our sins and we pray and we give them to him and he takes them away the things that we struggle with we just need to just give it to him and let him take them away praise the lord for that praise the lord we have a father with that we can just come to and surrender all our troubles and our burdens and he will fight our battles Blessings is coming for each and every one of us, my brothers and sisters. Blessings is coming. In Psalm 34, verse 8, it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Amen. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. So when we are going through our trials and our tribulations and our suffering and our pains, we just need to put our trust and our faith in him and surrender it all to him. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word, this encouraging word today that we are blessed. We are blessed for following you. We are blessed because you called us and we are all here. We are blessed because we know who we can turn to in our times of trouble, in our times of pain and, and tribulations and persecutions and sorrows and suffering. We put our trust in you. We come to you and we are blessed for that. And so I pray that you bless each and every one of my brothers and sisters today that you just be them, be with them, and no matter what they do today, guide them, protect them, lead them, and uh, and watch over them. Continue to give us your love, your mercy, your grace today, and give us more of your peace and rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.